Now, if the late great actor Robin Williams hadn't been misdiagnosed with the wrong form of dementia, would he still be alive today? A new film featuring interviews with his wife and friends explores that possibility about the comedian who took his own life in 2014. Paul Hawkins has more. I'm not a tuna! The human brain is, you know, an extraordinary three and a half pound gland. The moment you think you understand it, it comes out with something else. A genius taken from us way too soon. They believe that the Bay Area resident committed suicide. Robin Williams took his own life six years ago after he was diagnosed with Parkinson's. But as his wife explains in this new film, the autopsy revealed something different. I was called in to go over the coroner's report. There were no surprises about what was in his toxicology. I knew my honey was clean and sober. They sat me down and said, he, you know, essentially, Robin died of diffuse Lewy body dementia. What is that? Lewy body dementia affects 1.4 million Americans, causing movement issues, visual hallucinations, sleep disorder, impaired thinking, and depression. Its symptoms are similar to Parkinson's, but unlike Parkinson's, they tend to appear in a different order. There's a peace of mind that comes from saying, oh, this is the disease and it's not me. You know, if I have cancer, this is the cancer, this is not me. The idea that you can, you can parse those things, he never was able to do that in his life. And I think that's the thing that really changed his story to ending in suicide. The film also speaks to people in the industry who worked with Williams in his last few months, like director Sean Levy, who made the third Night at the Museum film, Secrets of the Tomb. The last movie was clear to all of us on that set that something was going on with Robin and friends like comedian Rick Overton. I would have comics ask me, how could he do that to his kids? He just do that to himself. He goes, that's the part of the thing with Louis body dementia is by that point, you're not you anymore. It took that part. For me, I can't help but think that this film is gonna completely rewrite the narrative of what happened to Robin Williams. There was a completely unknown piece of information that was entered into the last part of his life and it changed the trajectory of how his life ended. The film's released on demand in the US on September the 1st with later release dates for the rest of us yet to be announced. He was blessed with what his heart was capable of. In the midst of fear, he wanted to help people be less afraid. Self goes away, ego, bye bye. The thing that matters are others. That's what life is about. Paul Hawkins, BBC News.